If you've just switched to Linux, or even if you've been using it for a little while, there are some apps that you've just got to know about. This is a list of my top 5 apps that help you get the most out of your Linux experience. Number 1 is Warp Terminal. We've all seen the regular terminal that comes bundled with your chosen Linux distro, but this is a whole other level. It's a more graphical terminal with heaps of extra features over what you'd normally get. This means things like GPU accelerated rendering for smoother performance, workflows and scriptable commands, inline file system browsing, terminal session sharing, and intelligent autocomplete and command suggestions, which is really useful if you're a beginner. It's wild, and I really enjoy using it. This could be for you if you like the idea of using a terminal to do certain tasks, but just want a bit of extra refinement. I like to think of it as the regular terminal, but with modern design and plugins. Why not give it a go? Next up, we've got Kuha. This serves a pretty specific purpose, but if you need it, it's golden. Imagine you need to share short snippets of activity on your screen. Maybe you're posting in support forums and want to be able to show someone what's going on. Or maybe you are the support and you're making a tutorial for something. Or you might want to demo something to a colleague or classmate without sending the whole file. Whatever the reason, Peek gives you a really friendly graphical interface to record parts of your screen and save it as a GIF. You can adjust the frame rate and resolution and it has minimal dependencies. It's really light. So if you need to output custom GIFs from your screen for any reason, this is for you, look no further. The next app on this list might put a bit of fear into you because it's Windows inspired. But fear not, this video sponsor will save us with this absolutely gorgeous purple solder mask. PCBWay are a one-stop shop for PCB prototyping, CNC machining, 3D printing and more. It's really easy to get a quote for your project, head onto their website, upload your files and receive an instant quote. And until the 31st of October, you can get those Vaporwave vibes for free with a purple solder mask. But that's not all. PCBWare are also running their mascot design contest. They value creativity over everything, which I really like. So brush up on those 3D modeling skills for a chance to win up to $500. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video, which wouldn't be possible without their support. Check them out via the link in the description. Okay, that scary app then. Well, it's not really scary, it's just Sysmon Task. One of the things I actually like in Windows is the Task Manager, and that's exactly what this is. Its design is hugely reminiscent of Task Manager, and it offers a straightforward way to view your CPU, memory, disk, and network usage in real time. It's fully featured, of course, and lets you manage your processes, including killing them when they misbehave. And unlike what we're seeing with actual Windows apps these days, it's really light and so good if you want something friendly and familiar. You might be asking why not just use your distro's native manager? Well, this one looks nice. I've always liked this layout, but it's down to preference. Do give it a try though. The next app on our list is Timeshift. If Sysmon Task was too spooky, this will help you out. Linux can sometimes be a bit fiddly, and I often worry about breaking it, but Timeshift lets you protect your system by creating restore points. It can help you recover from bad updates accidental file deletion, or broken configs, something I've messed up on multiple occasions. It has a nice graphical interface with clear options and can run daily, weekly, or monthly. It uses either rsync or btrfs snapshots. So if you're looking for some extra peace of mind and want a backup utility, this one might be for you. The last app on our list is Local Send. If you've come from macOS and you really miss AirDrop, I get that. That's where LocalSend comes in. It's a free open source program that lets you send files to other devices on your local network. It's also prolific, as in it works on basically every Linux distro, Windows, macOS, iPhone, and Android. It's so handy. All you do is drag and drop a file to send it and select the device on your home network to be the recipient. It's lightweight and fast. Well, as fast as your home network can handle. I regularly send small and large files alike with local send, and it always seems reliable. It's one of those things that if you don't know it exists, you don't know how much you need it. Why not check it out? So that's all for today. Did your favourite app appear on the list? If not, let me know in the comments what I missed. 
I tried to make this video as concise and clear as possible so you'd just have five killer apps to try out. Give them a try and let me know what you think. Hopefully they help elevate your Linux experience just that bit more. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.